There's nothing forgettable about comedy legend Phyllis Diller. Her glitzy costumes, those outrageous wigs, hilarious jokes. <laughs> Do you think I'm overdressed? This is my slip. <laughs> and of course, that unmistakable laugh. <laughs> Growing up in the small town of Lima, Ohio, Phyllis always felt ugly, hating her nose and crooked teeth. But she soon found that being funny took away those insecurities. As a young woman, she studied music, worked for a local radio station, and got married. But this mother of five always dreamed of a bigger life as a comedian. In 1955, Phyllis finally worked up the nerve to audition at San Francisco's famed comedy club, The Purple Onion. Few women were doing stand-up at that time, but Phyllis was undeterred and eventually got the job. She went on to earn rave reviews and performed there for over 87 consecutive weeks. Phyllis's humor came from a truthful place. Her onstage persona and her jokes about being a wife and mother resonated with a broad audience. Oh, I don't know how to tell you. At one time in our playpen, there was standing room only. <laughs> Everyone loved Fang. Last year, Fang's mother gave me a set of towels marked his and its. <laughs> in the 60s, her career began to soar. She quickly rose to the top of her field and found herself in the spotlight on every major TV show. He said, I want you to be a little old-fashioned housewife, and we'll start out by you dressing a chicken for Sunday dinner. <laughs> He's got to be kidding. Here's our favorite gal friend, Phyllis Diller. Thank you, thank you. You know, a terrible thing happened to me again last night. Nothing. <laughs> He hates work. One morning, he called in dead. At the time when women were given few options, Phyllis Diller changed all the rules. She didn't just open doors for women and female comics. She knocked them down, one joke at a time. Am I gorgeous? <laughs> Miss Diller's legendary career has spanned more than six decades. She has done it all. TV, movies, Broadway, and has spent years traveling the world with her hilarious stand-up routine. Men don't whistle and scream at me that often. It only happened once before. When was that? I was driving the wrong way on the freeway. <laughs> she challenged us. When I play strip poker, they make me wear 18 blouses and aluminum siding. <laughs> Inspired us. It sounds so corny. I always said I would like to become a gracious lady and be known for kindness. But most importantly, she made us laugh. You know, I never know whether to dress you as Miss or Ms. Well, why don't you just call me what the neighborhood kids call me, sir? 